an extremely disappointing afternoon. Just give me your immediate reaction following that. Um, yeah, it's hugely disappointing. Again, I thought first half, you know, we had enough possession and moved the ball really well. But yet again, first 10 minutes of the game, we've been punished. You know, with a 25 yard strike in the top corner, five minutes later, an own goal. And that's the only two attempts they've had on goal in the whole half. We've had lots of possession, lots of ball in the right areas. Um, obviously, even after the, after the sending off, we've had even more. We just couldn't force that, that opening um, to get that goal. Um, in the second half, there's no excuses for the second half performance because they were down to 10 men. Um, and we just didn't do enough. I don't think we matched their, their energy and their aggressive running. And it's been the same story now for three games. Um, so it's, uh, it's hugely disappointing because at the end of the day, it's, it's about purely about showing a desire and a, and a passion to go and win games. And you know, we know it's in them because they did it at Burton, but we can't keep going on about that now. We're now three games into the league and, and we've lost three on the bounce and we've lost them to the opposing teams. They, we've lost them comfortably. So they, they've said they've, they've beat us comfortably, which, which they have with the score lines they've done. You know, I mean, we've, again, we've had good possession in good areas of the pitch. We just don't, you know, don't show enough desire to score at one end and we don't show enough desire to defend at the other end. It must be extremely infuriating that we've come out in the second half and obviously conceded a further two goals and mm. not quite tested their goalkeeper nearly enough. No, exactly. We've had, you know, you can talk about luck and about, you know, things like that. I mean, we've had Woody's header, comes off the post and rolls straight along the line into the goalkeeper's arms. You know, you can't, you can't, there's nothing you can do about that. Uh, but what you can do is, is when the corner comes into our box and it gets half cleared and the midfield runner runs beyond his, his marker and then nips it in front of him and toe pokes it in over the over Lochi, you can do something about that because you can be more aggressive on the edge of the box. You can be more expectant on the edge of the box because you are in a defending role. Whether you're a forward thinking player or not, you can be on your toes and ready to go in case it comes out. And we're not. And we are, as I said, we are being punished for every little single mistake. We'll watch the game tomorrow. And we'll look at our possession. Um, and we'll look at their possession. And we'll look at the entries into the final third. And we'll look at their entries into the final third. And I'll bet that they're not that far apart. In fact, we probably would have had more. Um, but we've come away losing 4-1. And that's not good enough and not acceptable. Um, based off the last week and then going into next week where we play Hartlepool Tuesday, mm -hmm. what do you think needs to really change going into that one? Well, I mean, we... <laughs> We, we need to be more motivated. The, the players need to, you know, we, we try and do everything we can to make sure they're motivated, they're organised, they're, they're prepared, they're fit, so they're ready to go. Sometimes it comes down to an individual desire to go out there and work harder than your opponent, to work harder than the person you're playing against. And that's something that we can't, we can't adjust. That's something we can't trigger off. They have to do that. They have to want to do that for themselves. Um, and I think if you interviewed any of the players this evening, I think that they would all admit that maybe as a group, they're not quite doing that right now for whatever reason. So, and I don't know why, because like I said, the most frustrating part is, is you know it's in there because I've seen them do it. We've been, had injuries again coming to this one. I know you won't want to use that as, as an excuse this afternoon. It's not, no, it's not, it's not an excuse. Yes, it, you know, the players we're missing at the moment, Matt Preston, James Dunn, Jay, Josh Walker, you know, all, all key players that would be normally be starters and, and again give you aggression, strength, experience. Um, yes, we could do with that right now, of course we could. But again, for long periods of the game today, we've had great possession in great areas, we've created half chances, we've just not taken them. Simple as that. And like I said, and we've given away too many soft goals or we've made too many mistakes in front of goal to, to keep them out. And uh, just lastly, is it going to need a, a reaction Tuesday from, from the group? What will be the message going into that? Exactly that. We need a reaction. We needed a reaction after Bromley. We needed a reaction after Kings Lynn and we've not had it. So, like I said, so it's, and again, you know, no excuses as always. But we're, uh, we've done everything we can regarding making sure we're set up and we're ready. Um, and just sometimes, you know, it's when they cross that white line, you, you don't have any control over what, what sometimes they give you. And like I said, then it's been hugely disappointing. You know, I've always been one that, that tries to protect the players, but there has to be some sort of responsibility along the line somewhere, because again, 
supporters will know it because they've seen them do it. Dagenham and Redbridge away, Weymouth at home, Leiston away with low numbers, Wrexham away, clean sheet. You know, so it's so we know we've got it Burton at home. So we've got it in within us. And sometimes you have to draw very deep down in, inside your soul and, and drag a performance out and we need to do that on Tuesday.